Hello Aces, welcome back to module seven, lesson 4.2, leveling up your viral contest. In the previous lesson, we talked about the five ways to set up your own viral contest to get more followers. In this specific lesson, we're gonna be talking about the four advanced strategies. So then that way you can get even more followers and to really amplify the contest. Today, we're talking about, like I was saying, the four advanced strategies to uplift your viral contest. First up is to use softwares. What do I mean by that, Wilson? It is to use software to amplify the message. So then that way you can grow multiple platforms at the same time. Usually these softwares that you're gonna be using are hosted outside of Instagram and Facebook. What does that mean? That means it's not integrated within the platform. That means you need to use other software. You need to install other programs to actually activate these kind of items. These software just creates a different landing page. And what I mean by landing page are just websites, websites that allow your customers to go in there and see these things and automatically they can do the actions. Whenever they perform an action, they're gonna get rewarded by additional entries. As you can see here, if they were to share your contest on Twitter, automatically they would get three bonus entries. If they were to share on Facebook, they're gonna get three bonus entries. If they were to share on Messenger or even email, they're gonna get even more entries. So that's the reason why it would allow you to amplify your message and your contest across multiple different platforms and why it is so effective when it comes down to it because for the deal hunters, for the regular Joes that are looking to enter these contests, for them, they just feel like, hey, why not increase my odds? It's like buying another lotto ticket for free. So they would be much more inclined to do these different actions. And then when they do it, now you have more touch points to actually go and market to these customers in the future. Some of the softwares that I used before would be King Sumo, Viral Loops, and Viper.io. I personally enjoy using Viper.io. User interface is great, but it is a paid uh, software to use. As you can see, it in action. So, as you can see here, at the end of the whole result, what we've used for multiple different purposes and multiple different projects, we've gained more than 140 different followers on our Instagram because of using a, uh, a uh, software to actually amplify the results. Same thing here. As you can see, we gained more than 100, and this is a separate campaign altogether. As you can see, we gained more than 100 Instagram followers, more emails, uh, subscription bases, more Facebook likes, more YouTube subs, and more follows on Twitter specifically for this campaign. So this is a tremendously successful campaign and really amplified our messaging across different platforms. And once again, I touched upon more touch points equals more ability for you to connect with your customers. And at the same note, if you don't have Twitter, you don't need to put uh, Twitter as an action item. If you don't use YouTube, same thing. You can customize what is it that you want people to take action for, and you can also customize the rewards. How many bonus entries? For example, if you really are really, really strong on Instagram, and if you really want more customers to follow you on Instagram, then the follow for this or the action to perform for this can be elevated to be 20 entries or 50 entries. But at the end of the day, you need to make sure that these are all in relevant, right? So you cannot just be like 100 uh, entries for Instagram followers and uh, additional 10 for news letter sub. It's just, it's just so disconnected. People won't believe it. Make sure it's believable. Second, use ads to really amplify your contest, okay? So the cost of Facebook ads are still relatively cheap compared to other types of ad channels such as running radio ads or newspaper ads. More Facebook ads in next lesson. We're gonna cover a lot more and we're gonna dive in deep into Facebook ads in the next lesson. But for the sake of this specific lesson, we use Facebook ads to push the awareness to the contest guys. And you can really target people who are within the vicinity of where your location is. And on top of that, their interest specifically. And as you can see here, right here, for us to get our ads shown to more than 20,000 people, we only spent $50. 
that is a lot of different impression that we're talking about. As you can see here, these are just some additional stats to show you that for every thousand people that sees our ads, we spent 250 roughly, okay? And if this doesn't make any sense to you, you can blow by this, you can still survive, you can still create a really profitable campaign without running ads. But for those of you who understand how to utilize Facebook ads, this is like a gold mine to you. And you can just share it with your ad team in order for them to do the media buying for you. And all you really have to focus on is the strategy that I'm sharing with you right now. And as you can see in action, how we are able to utilize ads to create more attention for our Nespresso campaign. We took contest photo and we turned it into a video. Basically it's a loop video because usually with these loops videos, it gets more engagement, more people liking it, more people watching it. Same thing with the giveaway. People understand the concept of giveaways, which is the reason why we put the text there. And automatically we were able to see a really big uplift on engagement. We created three different ad campaigns, one for video views and two for engagement right here and right here. We also targeted our customers core interests and campaigns specifically to our needs. So for the core interests are people who like ice cream, who loves desserts, who are foodies. The campaign specific interests would be people who like Nespresso, who are coffee drinkers, who like Kurek because they're a competitor of Nespresso. So basically we're just hijacking that type of demographic. And we're targeting people who are from 16 to 30, who lives within five mile radius within our shop, who are women. These ad placement, we only place it within the most optimal places, which are in the Instagram feed and Instagram story to maximize the effect of our campaign. So once again, if this doesn't make any sense to you, it is okay completely to shift to the next uh, step. But for those of you that understand this, this is really insightful tactics and strategies that I'm sharing with you that you can use within your own campaign. For us, we were able to see a really good results for this because we ended up only spending like a uh, hundred to two hundred dollars while we were able to get back more than twenty thousand dollars in return for our investment. So this was a really great campaign that we did with Nespresso. Step number three is using ads and software in collaboration together. It is the most effective if you want to be able to build your own channels, guys. Uh, I always, always recommend people to bring and build their own channel. And as you can see in module 6.1, we talk about building your home base. So if you don't understand what building your home base is, definitely go back to the previous module where we talked about building home base. It is essential and key to your success, especially if you're thinking about selling your business in the future, and especially if you have big plans to market to your own customers, building your home channel is essential for that. Um, so for us, it's really similar to directing people to your own contests and your own landing page. After they have done so, after they landed on your page, you can start collecting their emails. And on top of that, a really key thing is that you have them pixeled. So then that way you can retarget them. And what does that mean? That means you can always run advertisements to this type of people who have interest in your specific restaurant. So then that way, they feel more interested in what you have to say. You don't want to run advertisement for people who don't care about what you have to say because that's just lost advertisement dollars. You want to be able to run target, targeted ads for people who appreciate you and your restaurant. Number four, partnerships. This is a really, really big thing for me. I really love using this technique, especially when running contest strategies, because I truly believe in the power of leverage, right? Partnering with another brand who caters to your target market in a different way, in a complimentary way for a giveaway is always super effective. It's basically you giving out one prize and one from your partners as well. This creates a win-win situation. Why is that the case? It is because you are leveraging your partners subscription base and for them they're leveraging your subscription base and in turn we you guys both win your community loves you their community loves them and they love the whole giveaway this way you can you're going to be able to leverage off their brand to build your own community and as you can see right here right a lot of people does collaborative giveaways and as you can see right here same thing giveaways are very very prominent and it works really 
really well. Now, depending on the size of the partner or the influencers, usually if you guys have the same size and the same following, then there won't be a charge. But if they have more than you, let's say if you have 2000 subs and they have like 10,000 subs, sometimes they'll charge for that because in a way, we just need to be in their shoes, thinking it about it from their shoes. Why would they wanna to promote to their 10,000 followers to follow you when you only have 2000 followers? It doesn't make sense, it's a little bit lopsided, which is the reason why they will probably charge maybe 100 bucks, 200 bucks for something like that. Vice versa, if you have 10,000 followers, would you promote a brand that has only 2000 followers? Most likely you would not be as inclined to do so and that's really what people are going through in their minds. Contest pro tip guys, always think about how you can make it more shareable. The whole point, we don't wanna be able to like actually uh, run too far off from the objective that we're trying to reach. The whole point about running a contest is to make sure that it is shareable. That means that bonus entry for sharing the contest on your IG story. These are just added bonuses, right? Or you're gonna have different prizes, or different offers, and different methods of entry. Know for the fact that the whole objective of running these viral contests is how shareable is it? Making sure that if you won't do the action, then most likely the people that you're telling them to do the action won't perform the same action as well. So make sure that you go through this whole internal test about how shareable this item is. Once again, it is really, really important. Today, we just covered the four advanced tips for you to level up your viral contests. Now, running these viral contests are great, but there are also a lot of pitfalls that you should avoid. And that's the reason why in the next lesson, we're gonna cover the three deadly pitfalls to avoid when running promotion. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.